Yo, what's up guys? So, um, just come back from vacation. Um, <laughs> I might go on another one. So we'll see if I uh, make more videos or not. But um, so today I played a number of different stocks. Um, big winner here is PDD. Um, I took it on the short side a few times. So first time uh, up here, I saw that the stock uh, making new highs um, ran up like $18 um, at, at its highest. Um, here it started to struggle, so I waited, it hit this level, uh, watching level two, it started to uh, peter out, so I took 100 shares, um, and then I really saw it was weak, it tried to go up, couldn't do it, couldn't break it, um, and, and originally I had my level up here, uh, which we'll talk more about in, in a later part. Um, so I took, uh, added to my position, it dropped, and I usually get out pretty early because I'm, I'm fairly conservative and for a strong stock, it may just pop and run. So this is sort of like a parabolic reversal that I take. Um, ideally, you know, you have a level down here, you try to take it here, but there is this um, level of support from a previous day high uh, or low uh, over here. So I covered, um, and it did drop all the way down to the SMA and then it bounced off of that. Uh, I try to take it for another short because sometimes it does this double bounce, especially since um, I took it on the way back down. So there, it, it did it hit a high on this candlestick kind of on the way down. I, I took 100 shares, thinking that now it's going to collapse down to VWAP. Didn't do that. It kind of went back up, held it, and went back down again. So that kind of got me freaked out a bit. So I uh, got out of it. But then it sort of struggled again on level two. And so here I went in um, and put in 100 shares. It popped up, struggled again at this level. So I'm like, okay, so this is now a double top. Um, so I added another 100 shares. It dropped, got stuck here. So I waited three minutes and it wasn't doing anything. So I got out uh, half of my position. Uh, it was still not doing anything. It did drop a little. I was waiting for it to go down the view web. It didn't do that. So I just got out my remaining uh, position because this happens. Uh, it ran up and made a new high. Um, and I was worried about that because I knew I was trying to go for you know up here. Um, again, when it did hit this level, which is originally where I had it, um, I went in 100 shares. It did pop up a bit. Sometimes I expect that because this is just a range. It's not 100% uh, accurate. Uh, on the way back down, I added to it. It was still messing around here for a bit. It did pop up, make another new high, um, and then it went back down. So I started to cover some because the stock was just looking very strong and I covered the remainder here and I didn't play it again. And now it may collapse on the view up, it may not, I don't know. Um, I tend to worry a bit about very strong stocks, um, taking it counter trend, especially if it started to break through um, uh, many levels on the daily right here, it's up here. So it's okay to be a strong stock like let's say here, because for me, it's sort of range bound by at the daily level. Here, it's about to break new high, it may go up to 170. So I always don't want to take stocks that are high of the day, uh, all time highs or, you know, whatever on, on the daily chart. So this one is about to pop through. So I don't want to take it on the short side, um, especially past, uh, past this level, the 162, 63 levels. So, um, Anyway, so that was PDD, my big winner. Uh, MRNA, I was watching the stock. I thought about taking it a few times, but I was kind of nervous about it. Um, it basically popped up, held this level, went all the way up, uh, didn't really do anything here. So I took it for a short, uh, hoping it would drop to here. It did, but only after a bounce. So it did a double top and then it dropped. Uh, while it was consolidating, I usually get out just because I, I try to be conservative. I, I don't really like then there's no levels until you hit like 120. It may, I do have a limit order set at that level, but I don't know if it would uh, hit it. So, um, so yeah. Um, so that's why I, uh, you know, I, I, I just got up. And then I was watching it, it there was, uh, I anticipated this um, EMA, uh, SMA cross. So I took 100 shares, it bounced back up, it was holding this level, uh, lower highs, um, so I kept it and I knew that once it crossed, it was going to drop. But again, I got out too early because it started to bounce around this level, so I don't know if this stock would just chop all day. Um, I had a pretty good day by this time, so I just got all out and of course, it dropped uh, past my level and may even make it back down the view up. So originally I had it at uh, 114.05, um, but 
yeah, it, it, it went way past that. But after some, again, further consolidation. So usually I get I get out at the consolidation, especially if I take like 100 shares or whatever, which is typical of, of what I do is I take kind of small sizes. Uh, Neo is another example of taking small sizes, usually, not all the time. Uh, it ran up. I took it on the short side just because one, two, three, four, almost five minutes, it was struggling at this level. 200 shares, it dropped, covered all of it. It popped up again. I, I wasn't playing this, um, so it just bounced off of this level. The, the next time it went up there, I took it for a short, it dropped, I covered some, I overcovered, and then it just got out. Um, of course, after that, it basically petered out and it started to continue to drop. Uh, I didn't have too big of a size here. I just uh, played it 200 shares each time, um, plus a plus two bucks on the on the mistake. I actually made some money on this mistake, which is rare. Um, and then plug plug. Uh, I just took a really small size. This stock uh, was very. It had a bad day yesterday. It kept dropping, so. Uh, it dropped to this level, which corresponded on the 60 minute to a uh, SMA here. Um, so I took 100 shares. Again, it consolidated, so I got out. Um, but I did anticipate a quite sizable move on it. I just didn't know it would move over uh, like a buck 30 on, on this. Uh, but I would have gone out here or would have gone out here anyway. So I won't have been able to capture the entire thing just because it's choppy, it chops around. And I only had 100 shares. Maybe if I had 200 shares, I might hold another one to see how far it'd go. But again, I would probably would have gone out at some level of consolidation anyway. So that was plug, and uh, that's it. Yeah, that's my day, and um, that's it. Um, hope you guys had a good uh, day yourselves. Um, and yeah, just uh, stay disciplined. I think for myself, um, I realized over this past year is the days I do well um, and relatively stress-free is the days when I stay disciplined. I don't jump into any random trade. Um, the mistakes I make usually is I go into early um, stock, at least for me when I play pivot levels, um, the stocks are usually very strong um, at the open, um, the first half hour. And so for me, they usually burst right through a lot of the pivot levels right away, especially if they're very close together. And that's when I get, uh, you know, screwed over, so to speak. But yeah, staying disciplined and staying patient. All right, peace out.